Okay, and welcome back to Let's Play Mario Party 8. Today we're going to have a short-ish video explaining the Fun Bazaar. It's basically where you can buy extra little doodads and things and unlo unlo buy unlockables. Uh, it doesn't really matter what character you pick, but I just like picking Luigi because he's awesome. So here we go. Here in the middle, we have yeah, we have the uh, carnival wagon where if you buy little figurines, you can make them do things on a parade. Here we have the mini game wagon. Here you can buy mini games that you haven't that you haven't uh, seen yet. Let's see, do I have any that I haven't? Do we have, do we have one we haven't seen yet? We have ooh, attention grabber, locomotives, breakneck building. Cardiator. Wait, we saw that one, didn't we? Or was, am I thinking about me playing something else? Well, if we if we have enough stuff after I buy it, the important stuff, I'll go back and get those. Here we have where you can buy extras and stuff, like buy stuff like the uh, the extra mini games for the extra zone. So definitely want to get those. You have table menace, it's like playing table tennis. Puzzle Pillars, which is a puzzle game. I really don't know how, really don't know how to explain it. Uh, Chomping Frisney, where you're tr trying to uh, feed angry chain chomps so they don't eat you. And then uh, Moped Mayhem, where you're basically at the moped race with like random Mario characters all strewn around. There's a by the very hard difficulty, which is like expert. You can buy the taunts, which I kept thinking I had. By Test for the Best. Buy that, that's important. Then you can buy the, the staff's records, character voices, carnival music, minigame music, staff credits. And then you can buy all these figurines. Okay. And over here, you have the carnival, whatever that thing is pronounced, where you can listen to all the sounds of the game after you buy them. Then over here, you have the records board where it tells you all the records for the minigames. Okay, so these are the records you have now. So for, for, but if you buy the other thing, it'll say right next to it what the staff records are. Here you can look at your best, you know, test for the best results. I really don't, I don't have any on this file yet. And you can see what constitutes the minigame sets. Okay. I'm going to go back and buy those minigames that I don't have. I might show them off, but I don't know. But I'll explain them as I buy them. This one is a tension grabber. Basically, all you do is shake the Wii remote as fast as you can to get the ship to save you. This one, locomotive, is a duel. Basically, you're trying to get, you're trying to make the other person's train pop their balloons before they pop yours. Breakneck building is like an obstacle course where you do a whole bunch of carpentry things like painting, sawing the log, and uh, hammering nails in. And I swear we could have saw this one, but basically this one is, you, you, each player starts out at the duel, you, both players start out with a set amount of health, you pick a random card that does a random amount of damage, and whoever loses all their health first loses. And that's all the minigames. Okay. Well, that, like I said, that was short. Next time on Let's Play Mario Party 8, we will start going on to the minigame stuff. See you next time.